this is Mr. Explosive Peanut, and today I will be making my first Adobe Flash CS4 Professional tutorial. This tutorial will be on how to make and script the basic and simple button um, using ActionScript 2.0. Uh, buttons are very useful. Um, use them in everyday things, like if you're going to make the game, you can use them in menus. It's just something you should really know if you're going to be using Flash. It doesn't have to be Adobe Flash CS4 Professional. It just has to be any Flash that has ActionScript 2.0. So when you already open up your new Flash file, um, and as you can see by this black line, it's kind of my software is kind of bad. So if anyone has a better one, then Camtasier, Camps, whatever it's pronounced, see it's that green dot thing. Then could um, Studio Six. Could you please tell me? Thanks. Okay, so um, now I'm going to be showing you how to make your button from scratch. But anytime, if you don't want to make your own button from scratch, you can go to the top, go to Window, Common Libraries, and Buttons. And this is the library of buttons. And there's a whole bunch of buttons, a ton of them. Now, most of them are just so so, as you can see by this. Uh, buttons rounded. Um, but the ones that I've worked are the classic buttons. You should check those out. Um, but yeah, so this is how to make a button from scratch. You want to go down to your toolbar. Yours is either going to be on the left side of the screen or the right. But you got your toolbar. And you want to select the rectangle tool. And just go over a bit and select the outline and the fill color. I'm going to make mine a bluish color since I like blue. Now, your button, um, you can make yours look a lot better than I'm going to make mine. But I'm just going to like add some text to it. I'm just going to show you how to make one though. So just drag, make this. Ah, sorry. Um, okay, go to your cursor. And what do you want to do? You just want to click drag and select the entire box then it'll have all these dots on it so you'll know it's selected once that happens right click and convert it to a symbol or you can press F8 um but I can't do it also pause my recording okay so you can name it anything you want but just name it super happy fun button okay the type should be set to button. The folder doesn't matter, just keep it where it is. And the registration should be set to the middle. Um, okay, just hit OK. And you can tell that. Sorry about the black lines, that's why I want new software. But as you can tell, that it's a symbol now is because it'll have a light blue outline and this little crosshair thing in the middle. And also, if you go to your library, then it should be here and that symbol means it's a button okay um... so I'm just gonna go back down and the layer that I'm on let's just rename this double click let's name it button so we know the buttons on it you don't need to name it but it to keep things simple make a new layer and call it action scripts or scripts or whatever Okay, now this layer should be like blank, you can see, because that means there's nothing on it. That's right. Okay. So here is where the scripts come in. Okay, these scripts will be on the um, description of the video. Okay, action script 2.0. Okay. Um, wait for that to load. Probably shouldn't load this before, but this universal script, it's ideal for um click the button games um so if anyone wants that script you can just copy down right now um but the one we're going to be using is the single frame on release go to and stop a frame number so copy that down and go to your flash and click on the button right click and go to actions or press F9 um, and once again, I can't do it, or else it'll stop my video. Okay, so, make sure you have the right thing selected. 
and it says here the current selection. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, paste it. And we'll just go over this really quick. It's not that complicated, but it's basically on the lease. So when you let go after you click with your mouse, it will go to and stop a frame number. The frame number, since we're on frame one, let's just go to frame two. And now that's done. Oh, I'm just gonna minimize that. Okay. Um now go to your action script layer and instead of clicking on the the dis what's like anything that's on the layer, go to the actual layer itself, click on it, right click, and put actions on that to the actual layer. And this is very simple. I'll put it up anyways, but I don't even think you need to copy it. Just write in stop. Um, left parenthesis, right parenthesis, and a semicolon. This saying that anything on this frame, despite layer, is going, it's not going to play like a movie clip, like it will by default. See, you'll know because it has a little A on it. Uh, let me, um, so, yeah. Then just copy that frame, and you want to paste it on however, like if you're making a menu for a game, you want to paste it on every single layer that it's going to be leading to. So, anything that you're going to need. For this demonstration, I only need two frames. So, yeah, I'm only going to put it on two. Then for the button, right click on frame two. And insert a blank keyframe. And that's basically inserting a frame that has nothing to do with the other ones. I'm just going to change color back to black. Get my paintbrush. And this is the screen that goes to this frame too. The one that it goes to and stops at when you click the button. And I'm just going to put it works. Because if you got this far, it will work. I hope. It works. Yeah. Oh, I'm not that good of a writer, so pretend like that it says works. Um. Yay. And a smiley face. Well, kind of. Okay. Just. Um, now what you want to do, you want to go back to your frame one, where your button is, and publish preview, flash, publishing, publishing. Okay, here it is. If it's not freaking out, that means that the stop script is working. Click it. It works. Yay. And there's that annoying black line because I'm using a bad program. Sorry. Um, okay, yeah. So that is how to make and script a simple button using Adobe Flash CS4 Professional um, using ActionScript 2.0. I hope this tutorial helped. Once again, made by Explosive Peanut. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.